My name is Jeff Sachs, and my role is called Distinguished Scientist in Quantitative Pharmacology and Pharmacometrics in Merck Research Laboratories. I am really fortunate to have a great team of quantitative scientists, and I'm responsible for all of the modeling and simulation that supports vaccine discovery and development. So I'm really lucky to have been raised in a family that uh, could feed me and educate me and where science and education uh, were seen as very valuable. My mother died when I was a very small child of cancer, and that had a lot to do with my deep interest in biology. And I also had kind of a knack for mathematics. Math helps make vaccine discovery, development, manufacturing, and delivery much more efficient and gives us even safer and even more efficacious vaccines. So vaccines are uh, a kind of drug, if you will. They're something that we take that prevents us from getting sick when we're exposed to a pathogen. So a vaccine exposes your immune system to harmless parts of the pathogen. Your immune system learns to recognize it and can tamp down the infection uh, before you have symptoms. So in general, the way vaccine discovery works, you first have to figure out what is the pathogen, the virus or bacterium, that's causing the disease for COVID-19. It's SARS-CoV-2. Then you use a technology called DNA sequencing where you have to fit it together like a giant jigsaw puzzle to figure out the whole thing. And then you also use a lot of math actually uh, behind the scenes, probability, statistics, discrete mathematics for understanding what do those pieces of sequence mean? What are the different proteins? What are the different parts of the envelope? Then you can use algorithms, mathematical formulae and computers and data to understand what are the parts that are most likely to induce an immunogenic response, which is a fancy way of saying, get your immune system ramped up to recognize it in the future. Then you get into design of experiments, which is, you know, probability and statistics and modeling and simulation of, say, dose response to test how much you need. And then, of course, there's all the data analysis. Once you've run the experiment, there's all kinds of statistics that you need to do and nonlinear mixed effects modeling and all, all kinds of fancy stuff. Pharmacometrics, pharmacokinetic, pharmacodynamic type analyses. And then designing clinical trials, you do sophisticated stochastic simulations. So it's like uh, flipping a lot of coins and statistics and trying to simulate what could happen in a clinical trial to figure out the right kind of clinical trial so that we're designing them to be as uh, efficient and quick as possible so that we get a really good read on the safety and the efficacy, the immunogenicity. They have to be checked and double checked by experts to be worthy of, of use in the public. There's lots of math just in the discovery and the development, the clinical development of the vaccine. Uh, there's also a lot of math in supply chain planning and you have to forecast how much is gonna be needed, but you have to also think how fast can I ship it out? Is there somebody to receive it? because I've only got so much storage space at the right temperature. These are all things that are effectively mathematical models. And that way, when you show up to get your vaccine, it's just there like magic. And what we've seen with the COVID vaccines is they're amazingly, fabulously efficacious. They have very high efficacy. From the perspective of my industry, mathematics uh, is seeing more and more application more and more acceptance in terms of doing things in a way that is planful, quantitative, objective, uh, and planned with the help of modeling and simulation and statistical approaches, rather than more traditional empirical approaches. And I think new AI techniques will further accelerate and enhance drug discovery and development. These kinds of things get uh, science geeks like me and math geeks really excited. SIAM is the Society for Industrial and Applied Mathematics. I've been a member for 35 years. 
It exposed me to a lot of things that inspired me, different scientific endeavors that used math and uh, helped me network. My first um, non-academic, non-government job, uh, I actually got at a career fair at a SIAM conference. And so it was through a SIAM conference uh, as well that I ended up with my job at Merck and uh, able to use math to help develop drugs and vaccines that have saved a lot of lives. I'm so uh, happy and blessed to have a job that I get up every day and I, I feel that there's this deep meaning in what I do and that it improves people's lives.